everybody frank back here happy hump day to you today we got three pack of flavors from flavor west we have the classic flavor west butterscotch we have butterscotch ripple and we have i don't know why they even put this one out natural butterscotch all right right off the bat you know these are some of my favorite but well the Flavor West Butterscotches, before I got this last one, are my two favorite butterscotches. You know, regular Flavor West and the Butterscotch Ripple. This natural butterscotch, I, I don't know. We'll talk about that in a minute. Alrighty, gang. Let's go down. Let's look at some notes on ER. Let's look at some recipes. And then I'll let you get on with the rest of your day. Let's go, everybody. Alrighty, here we go. We're going to start right off with this pile of heaping garbage. Right off the bat, this butterscotch natural. This, right off the bat, this tells me that this is very much like a, I think it's supposed to be like diacetyl free or something, a lot of butyric acid. Uh, I just don't understand why they even made this, to be honest with you. You have the, you have regular butterscotch, you didn't need this one. I mean, I'm seeing some people, I'm wondering if some of these notes, if people don't know the difference between natural butterscotch and regular butterscotch, which, could very well be the case because i'm seeing some people saying mix it at five percent they enjoy it they get you get like a butterscotch malt type flavor out of this has a little bit of cream i don't see it guys i don't see it uh here's one rated best butterscotch by many uh mm, i don't know i mean 10 percent in a standalone i guess if you like to puke your vapes uh, let's see, I mean, I'm, I'm seeing all kinds of stuff here. You know, using it in place of other rest of, of other butterscotches. I don't know. Here, I'll even torture myself. I'll sniff this one again. But I don't know about this. Yeah, it's average at best. I mean, it looks very close to regular butterscotch in color, but you know, regular butterscotch is definitely so much stronger so much more buttery so much you know so much more creamy here it's saying uh pairs with vanilla custard i guess you know if you want to two three months steep you know mix it up and check it this summer go for it tfa bavarian cream another heavy steeper anywhere creme brulee uh butterscotch ripple if you want to you know waste your ripple uh flavor west vanilla bean ice cream Flavor West Sweet Cream, Graham Cracker from Capella, Flavor West Hazelnut, RY4 Double. Uh, a couple of recipes here. Uh, Imperial Butterscotch from Third World Order. Uh, I'm saying, you know, using it 4%, and this is a very highly rated mix. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mean... Yeah, it's in this place. This person does realize it is not the same, but they like it. And hey, you know what? I guess it's better than not liking it. I mean, it's better than, you know, better than the alternative. Uh, Jagoda Gold from Big Country uses it at 4%, or uses it at 2% with 4% ripple. 2% uh, Bavarian Cream, Creme Brulee, New York Cheesecake, Salted Caramel Flavor West, Sweetener, Toasted Marshmallow, Vanilla Bean Ice Cream from TFA, and Swirl. This one's definitely one that needs some time to come together. I would say two weeks minimum. The creme brulee helps because it's not a long, long steeper. Chapel, she uses it in a sweet butterscotch tobacco with butter rum. She uses a, this butterscotch at four. Cured tobacco from Flavora at a half. Simply vanilla from Capella at a half. And Virginia tobacco at 1.5. She says it needs three to four weeks to steep. Uh, Sparks Fly, who was a very good mixer. Uh, medicine Flower Butterscotch at 0.43. If you're familiar with Medicine Flower, they're extremely highly concentrated flavors, even more than Flavora. Uh, use Natural Butterscotch at four. Caramel from Capella at two. Graham Cracker at one and a half. And Vanilla Custard at two. Yeah, that's definitely, yeah, it says 30-day steep time. Yeah, that's spot on, I would say. Uh, sensory Overload is another very popular, excellent mixer. 
uses it at three with French vanilla, graham cracker, some sweetener, vanilla custard, swirl, brown sugar. That's another three week steep. Makes sense. So this one, you know, let's say it's it is what it is. It's in my opinion, I don't perf I don't particularly care for it. But I don't know, looking at you know what some of these other mixers say. Maybe I have to give it another look, maybe use it a little differently. I don't know. We'll see me. It might change my mind, it may not. Uh average percentages two and a half in a mix and eight uh as a single flavor. Okay. And when we have 215 public and 4284 on right on private mixes on that one. Let's go to Ripple, one of my favorites. It has a triangle, contains acetone. Still better than better than your cigarettes. Here's some Chiba 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 Steba notes. I remember this rest, this episode of Noted. Such a damn good rest of butterscotch, sweet cream butterscotch, cheese butterscotch. Super creamy, almost like butterscotch ice cream, which it is. It's very creamy. This is more like the ribbons inside of a butterscotch ice cream. That's why it's called Ripple. Uh, so creamy. It needs another butterscotch or caramel to really tone it in. Yeah, I mean, that's what I like to do with it. I like to layer butterscotches. This one with uh, either Flavor War Butterscotch or Flavor West Butterscotch itself. Standalone at 5 to 8%. I could see that. Uh, let's see. And you can see Haze. Just some stuff you picked up from somewhere else. Yeah, three uh three percent on the median, yeah, ten percent single flavor. Chiba's notes. Five is Chiba's notes. Which is fine, you know, people getting it out there. Yeah, these are all Chiba's. Let's go down scroll through all this. What's that one? Anything new? No, most of it's Chiba's notes. I mean we know what it is. It's uh you know, it's a, uh, you know, it's like a, the ribbon of a butterscotch ice cream. Or a, of a vanilla ice cream with butterscotch ribbon. Sorry about this, guys. Let's go down here. Most commonly used. Uh, vanilla custard, RY4 double. Sweetener, vanilla swirl. Sugar cookie, sweet, uh, TFA sweetener, TFA pistachio. That's interesting. I, I, mm, I, that, that gives me some ideas. FA caramel. TFA Bavarian Cream and some methyl maltose. So you got three sweeteners in the most common. 1,384 public recipes. Let's see. The most popular one is from Sad Panda. And Apple Bacco from 2016 uses it at 6 uh, with 1% ethyl maltol, uh 1.5% Fuji Apple, RY4 Double, and Vanilla Custard. 3% on the custard. It's going to take a... I was gonna say it's gonna take a week. I mean, I'm mean, sorry, like two weeks for a steep on that. Rusty Pelican by Vapor Alchemist from 2016 uses uh, butter pecan at three and a half from Flavor West. Uses this ripple at four. Uh, FA Cookie at one. FA Hazelnut at 0.8. TFA Sweet Cream at 1.2. 0.6 on TFA Sweetener and five and a half percent vanilla bean ice cream. Seven to ten day steep. <clears throat> butterscotch really leaps out after 14 days absolutely it will good looking mix there uh ella you know one of the classes from vaping home mixers uh she uses it at two with caterpillar chow i, I guess she you know, she was allowed it was early 2017 uh tam wasn't doing a whole lot yet to where uh you know, ella was allowed to use caterpillar chow back then uh, F.A. Caramel at 1, uh, Devon Cream at 1.5, and Lucky Shot at 10. Oh, I like that. I love my Lucky Shot. And looks like a gold bar candy. Must must be something they have over in the U.K. Looks cute. Uh, Liam Pudding in the Butterscotch from 2019. Uses Flavor at 2, uses Ripple at 8, uses F.A. Custard Premium at 4 and uses New York Cheesecake at 2.5. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, he, he used to like it yeah, at 10% as a standalone on the Ripple. It is a 30-day steep, but this is one that you can, if you want to, you can shake and vape that one. T 
Tam with her fried butterscotch ice cream. Uh, we talked about this one already. She uses a Ripple at 2. Uh, breakfast cereal is 1.5. F.A. Butterscotch at 1. Caramel Rice Krispie Treats 2.5. Hanks and French Vanilla Ice Cream at 1. A little bit of Joy and a little bit of Liquid Barn Ice Cream. A little bit meaning 3%. Uh, let's see. Nevins. This is probably one he came in second place with somewhere. Uh, butterscotch Ripple at 2.5. Dolce de Leche from SSA at 1.25. Milky Caramel Fudge at 0.75. His Ice Cream Trinity, which has F.A. milk in it, so I can't mix it, I believe. And uh, here is Golden Ice Cream. Good looking mix. And I saw Chiba Steva. Butterscotch Banana Frozen Custard. Hell yes. Hanks and Banana at 0.75, which I do not have. TFA Banana Cream at 4. Butterscotch from Flavor at 2 with Ripple at 3. Vanilla Bean Ice Cream at 3. And Vanilla Custard from Capella at 2. Uh, he swapped FA Banana at 1 for the Hanks and Banana. Found that the Hanks and Banana to provide a more pronounced, more authentic banana accent to mix than FA. Oh, uh, let's see. I would probably have to... Use the FA or maybe use uh maybe the update that mix and use SSA right banana. Uh chemist with C P R Y four. So this is R Y four with apples and almonds and a ripple at two with some pistachio at two, anywhere cherries at two, pistachio almond cherry pie with R Y four and cream. I'll a lot of stuff going on in this mix. It looks pretty tasty. All right, now let's go to Flavor West Butterscotch. This is the big dick in the bar. This is this is the butterscotch in my opinion. It has some acetone in it, so if you're afraid, you're gonna buy a dog. Uh, two percent is recommended in a mix. Eight percent single flavor, which I totally get. Uh, let's see. Let's see what kind of notes. You know, Hayes says flavor description, light creamy butterscotch, milky and buttery. Butyric, butyric acid is used here for butteriness. Uh, maybe. A little bit of throat hit. Okay. Let me get through all this. Yeah, not a whole. Let's see, it's an older flavor. So, you know, Chachi saying you copying the same thing. So let's go down. Let's see. No one, no one's really saying too much. Uh, Ziggy says, combined with nut flavors, Vienna cream and Oxford Jamaica run to make a very rich and buttery flavor that can develop over time. Yeah, okay. I can see that. All right, let's get down to brass tacks here. Let's see. Common uses. Vanilla custard. Sweetener from TFA, Cinnamon Dane Swirl, Bavarian Cream Sweetener from Capella, RF, RY4 Double, Caramel FA, Graham Cracker Clear, Sugar Cookie, and Brown Sugar. Brown Sugar. All right, let's see. We got 785 public recipes, 15,000 plus uh, private recipes. Uh, the number one one is from 2016, January 2016. Not Charles Manson has his Royal Butterscotch, TFA Brown Sugar at a half, FA at a half, Flavor West at four, FA Fresh Cream at 0.75, FA Meringue at one and a half, Shisha Vanilla to sweeten it up at 0.75, and Vienna Cream at 1.5. Got some Reddit notes there you could check out. Uh, Deadly Sin Clone V2. Another one's up there. You got Flare West Bar Scotch at 5. Cinnamon Dance Swirl at 4. Joy at 1. Uh, personally, I would knock that Joy down. But you do have uh, RY4 from FA at 5. And Vanilla Custard Capella at 2. Has some notes here. If, or, Flavor Art RY4 has a cleaner taste, which I can understand that. Uh, the Joy and some yeast and sugar. I I, mean, I I should mix that one. That one does 
Look, I shouldn't be afraid to use Enjoy It One if it's in that mix. All right, here's one from the Juice Fairy Derailed Remixed Suicide Bunny Spot On. Uh, TFA Banana Cream at, at five. And Flavor West Butterscotch at a half. Uh, cinnamon Dance Swirl at three. Meringue at two. Rice Crunchies at a half. And Vanilla Custard at five. Looks like looks pretty good there. I never had that suicide bunny, so I wouldn't know. Another deadly sin clone loaded donuts by Vapor Alchemist has it at two with cake batter dip and CDS and frosted donut from TFA. Uh, sugar cookie sweetener, vanilla cupcake from Capella, which is a lot of frosting, vanilla custard, uh, five day steep. Yeah, you can get away with that probably. Uh, so here's one that Fresh has. Butterscotch Sunday DQ style uses it at three and a third. This is 2015. Uh, vanilla cream, French vanilla cream from TFA at 1.66. Toast and marshmallow 1.66. Vanilla bean gelato 0. 0.66. Uh, vanilla cupcake basically five percent, 4.99. You can tell he's mixing by mill. He looks like he's mixing by weight here, not by percentage, which is you know, 2015. I mean, it's earlier on in Fresh's mixing, so it's very possible there. Maybe did not have a scale yet at that point. Maybe mixing my volume, I should have said. Butterbeer from Kenaware. LA Butter I'm at one. Flavor West and Butterscotch at three. Cream soda, real flavors at 1.25. Hankson Italian cream at one and two and a half percent liquid barn ice cream. He's one of like some stuff to steep. He's given that one a month, which makes total sense. All right, here we go. I used it at four percent with Bavarian cream at two from TFA, brown sugar at a half. Caramel candy at two, RY4 double at four, sweetener at one, uh, vanilla bourbon from FA at one, and then vanilla ice cream liquid barn at four, and vanilla pudding at 0.5. So this is a very highly flavored mix, 19%. Uh, yeah, it's a good, good off the shake for sure. Alrighty, gang. There's the Flavor West Butterscotches. I love my butterscotches. And I love Flavor West Butterscotches. I may go ahead and do a mix with natural butterscotch and see how it goes. See if I can, you know, see if these other mixers prove me wrong, which, you know, wouldn't be the first time. But that's it for today, guys. Be safe. Wash your hands. Don't talk to strangers. The week's halfway over. Let's get through it. Like, share, and subscribe. And we will catch up with you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.